Prince William made pivotal PR mistake over Prince Harry attack on royals, says expert. Author Alexander Larman believes the motto Never Complain, Never Explain has not been effective for the Prince of Wales in recent months. Prince William made a considerable mistake in refusing to respond to any of the claims Prince Harry made in spare, a royal expert has suggested. The Prince of Wales, 40, adopted the royal family's motto of Never Complain, Never Explain to remain silent despite the Duke of Sussex's repeated swipes. But author Alexander Larman suggested William should have agreed to an interview himself and extended the hand of brotherhood to avoid further attacks. Prince William made a considerable mistake in refusing to respond to any of the claims Prince Harry made in spare, a royal expert has suggested. The Prince of Wales, 40, adopted the royal family's motto of never complain, never explain to remain silent despite the Duke of Sussex's repeated swipes. But author Alexander Larman suggested William should have agreed to an interview himself and extended the hand of brotherhood to avoid further attacks. Where he should have said, we are all very concerned about him. We understand he had the most awful, traumatic shock when our mother died so young. We know life has been hard for him. The thing is the royal family's motto has always been never complain, never explain and that's done for them very well. But you do wonder when a member of the royal family isn't playing by the same rules as you how well it's going to be in the long term. The royal commentator, author of The War of Windsors, suggested responding directly to Harry's claims could be the only strategy available to the firm. He noted the family had experienced similar attacks from Edward VIII when he abdicated and moved to France to marry his lover Wallace Simpson. Larman appeared to suggest the King and William might have to opt for reconciliation to keep Harry from becoming a loose cannon as the Duke of Windsor did. He told Royal U.S., it was the same thing with the Duke of Windsor, he wasn't playing by any of the established rules because they'd all been torn up for him. And so there wasn't an awful lot the family could do in order to rein him in. If you can't take his money away, you can't take his royal status away, what can you do? The king has extended an olive branch to his younger son and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex by inviting them to his coronation in May. But the couple have yet to confirm whether they will participate, and the Duke of Sussex's ongoing battle against the male saw further allegations against the firm surface only this week. The Duke, 38, claimed the institution had been conditioning him not to ask too many questions about alleged hacking against him and other royals. One source claimed Harry's latest allegations have only cemented the Prince of Wales's belief that his brother is committed to embarrassing their family. They told the Daily Beast, William is over it at this stage. If this was about his vendetta with the male that would be one thing. But Harry keeps doing everything in his power to try and embarrass the family. How can you have a relationship with someone who is doing that? 